Let me start with a story about my knee from a while ago. I used it a lot, maybe too much, ignored the warning signs it was damaged until it had a major failure. It was difficult to use it at all for a while. Doctors helped with medication, physiotherapy, rest, and I still have limited use of it and it's not as good as it was. There are times when I use it too much and the problems reoccur. Now, a few years later, I used my head too much, ignored the warning signs, it was damaged until it had a major failure. It was difficult to use it at all for a while. Doctors help with medication, therapy, rest, and I still have limited use of it and it's not as good as it was. There are times when I use it too much and the problems reoccur. To me, there's been no real difference between the problems I had with my knee and with my head. My stress feels exactly like yours, how you feel before an important event like an exam or a big day where there's lots of pressure. You want to be left alone to focus, you are easily upset and can get emotional. It's just like that for me, except it goes on for weeks, even when there's nothing I should be worrying about. Have you ever had a balloon pop right by your ear and had that breathless, shaky feeling for a while? For me, that's normal and happens every day. Next slide, please. Just like a computer running slowly can't process as much as normal, I'm the same, I call it my single processing mode. For example, I can't handle two simultaneous audio inputs like listening to one person if somebody else is talking or if there's any background noise or music. Thank you. There isn't enough processing power to filter out the sounds I don't want. I can't handle multiple streams of information or even complex single streams. My head just can't file the data quickly enough. The communication from my memory also runs slowly, so I sometimes find it really difficult to remember basic details. Just having more people in a room makes it worse. I get extremely tired because whilst it might appear my head isn't achieving a great deal, it's still working really hard because it's so inefficient, like a car overheating because it's not firing on all cylinders. I find it difficult to handle things like a change of plan very easily, and I'm giddy a lot of the time because it's actually lowering my blood sugar level. When I'm in a bad way, anything multi-layered or complex is just impossible. When I had my damaged leg, people would always help because they could see the problem. With my stress, there is no limp or bandage, and few people are perceptive enough to realise there's a problem and even less know how to help. So here are my top four tips. Don't be aggressive. That will always increase my stress because to me it's triggering bad memories. Try not to wind me up or be unkind. Just be respectful. Acknowledge that it's not always a good time to communicate. If you are with somebody who suffers from stress, be watching out for them getting anxious or upset. Don't wait until it's too late. Thank you.